and others. I was telling them that I am so happy to be with them because yesterday morning at 6 o'clock I was a fetch at the Roja City Airport upon the request of three personalities, namely House Speaker Martin Romualdez, Vice President Sara Zay Duterte, and former President Gloria Macapagal to join them in the vow. Yesterday, when I was in Davao, I was with your secretary. As she talked to me, thinking of staying another day with her was so tempting. <laughs> so tempting that I was almost tempted. <laughs> But you know, your power to draw me away from that temptation is stronger than her temptation. That's why I am here, because I love you three times a day. Yesterday I was there because I was also the keynote speaker of the three and the four provinces in Davao. That is Davao del Sur, Davao del Norte, Davao del uh, Davao de Oro, and uh, Davao etc. So many Davao. <laughs> I only know one Davao here in the province of Capiz, and they are from the municipality of Divisa. <laughs> I, I was uh, requested to speak on the move of some congressmen to amend or propose amendment to the Constitution. I was invited to shed light on whether Constituent Assembly or Constitutional Convention should be adopted in the amendment. And uh, they also requested me to enlighten them on certain provisions of the Constitution, which in its entirety may be considered as a restrictive provisions that drive away investors from coming to the Philippines. But as I said, Notwithstanding the inclement weather yesterday and the very scary, scary travel from Hall back to Capiz, and considering that I am longing for your company, I have chosen to traverse the critical air travel yesterday just to see you. <laughs> and again, when I attended this morning uh, the affair of Colegio Purisima Concepcion, because it was I who was touched to read the message of His Excellency President Ferdinand R. Marcos. Father Monsignor Cyril Villarreal approached me and he said, Malago Bala Predinel, I am so proud of you. Kay na bala sa misa, kapin na kukin ni sa bitong. Now, I am very proud of a Parisian graduate, of course, no prejudice and uh, without meaning to offend all of those who did not graduate from the same school. <laughs> because while it may be true that you did not graduate from that school, you carry the mark 
which is distinguishable and more dominant, you are all Capistanos. Therefore, regardless of whether you graduated from Purisima or not, it's immaterial. What is important is that my heart for you keeps on burning, that it glitters and someday it will burn you. <laughs> now, uh, Monsignor Cyril said that, you know, Fredinil, Amuna Pelsirinia, and Kaling Sirinia, wala ka. Di, Sirinia, I was so sad because you were not around. You did, you did not attend the Mass. Sina ba ko siya? Uh, the, I am going to tell you two things, Monsignor. You should not be mad at me. Whether it's true or not, but you should not be mad at me. Because I came home. Kag wala mo makita ako kay nasabisa, isn't it that in the Bible, it says, Blessed are those who do not see, but believe. For they shall inherit the kingdom of God. You know? uh, in addition, this is new phrase in the Bible. You better send to Rome the approval of its insertion in the Bible. Blessed are those who do not hear, for they shall inherit the kingdom of God. In any event, we are here, and I am very much honored to be with you. But before I proceed, may I acknowledge. Kay na wala ko pala magsalamit dito. Tuod na. Kaling siling ko, balan mo mo, Senor, and I told the rest. Siling ko, hindi ako magsalamit kay wala niyo kung magkakita ako talaga na subok sinikat ako ng ko. Magkatawa ang magkakita. Karoon nga man niya nagsalamin ako. Hindi ba? Kung ano man ang inyo na ginapanong doon, sala ka mo. Kay nagsalamin ako, kay luyag ko nga mas makita ka na. Ay. Mr. Reynaldo D. Ascaraga, Ph.D. Doctor, Doctor, may I go out? I am sick. Mr. Miguel Mac D. Apusin, Sesophy, sir. Kalaga na? Si Mr. Apusin, si Sir Mac. I said that Capis is blessed because he came home. Pagtulong ko siya. I think he was thinking the, 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 ano, the reverse. Ang ako niya interpretation sa itsura niya pag siling ko nga, I am glad and I am very happy you came home. Because again, the uh, Department of Education Division of Capis will again rise to the height of its excellence. <laughs> Pero as I read the special expression, naim! Siling niya, ari naman. Iya naman ako si Lepo Budlayan. So, Mac, I love you. <laughs> Mr. Mike Arancilia. Mike Arancilia. At GSIS, you did not come from Dumano. I am happy 
that notwithstanding that your roots came from the mother, you do not stay in the mother. <laughs> Thank you very much because you know they are serious now they are my relatives did not support me. <laughs> Mr. Dillion Arante. Mr. Arante, you are from Manila? Magkasama tayo? Ah, sa committee. Kaya pala, bago kita nakita, namimiss na kita. I hope that uh, considering that you are PPSD Manila, I hope that the moment that you leave the province of Capiz, these teachers here will not start bringing placards outside. <laughs> Marcel of, of no, Mr. and Mrs. Jose Basina. Nam you represent, the you represent the retiree. Is that correct? I am happy that you retired. <laughs> and to our master of ceremonies, with your handling of the program, I am afraid that the actress, you know, you remember Orly Mercado? Orly Mercado used to be a Toastmaster in every uh, program. And I hope that he's not going to lose his job. <laughs> because tomorrow you will be the most celebrated Toastmaster. <laughs> Taya said that she is very happy because you are her teachers and you are her friends. Akuya, I am very happy because seeing the teachers and being with you, I am honored to have a father and mother who are both teachers. Before I married my wife, I was thinking of marrying a teacher. Because it is from this teacher that I was nourished of good manners and right conduct. It is also from these teachers that I received my nourishment to be good neighbors of my neighbors. And it is also from the same teachers from whom I learned to rely and have faith in God. <laughs> When I was a high school student, the fourth year, I was almost tempted to go straight because I was influenced of the activities in the school. I was almost tempted to fight the cause we were fighting for and stay in the mountain. It is only the tears shed by my mother who prevented me. Without those tears, you could not have your governor, Fred Castro. Kani si Lincoln, mga sawa ko si Lincoln sa maestra. Kay Luya na kuya because if my wife is a teacher, I am already sure of their training 
in the house to face the challenge of formal education. Galing kay Balan yun yung asawa ko daw si kong basketball player daw si Fabiosa. Kung sa mga NBA daw si Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan dito ngayon na umpisa na nag-abot ako kan nakita ko sa niya mga mata. Wala na siya magtulog sa ibang nga lalaki kundi sa asawa niya na lang. <laughs> to my wife, I am the only guy in this world. She is very, I am very lucky but I don't know whether she is lucky. <laughs> And I don't know whether I am as faithful as she is. <laughs> Pero, without being self-serving, again, my purity and faithfulness to my wife and my family also came from my mother and father teachers. Gani, <laughs> matuod ang siling ni Teya na kami iya sa provincial government, we are out there to help the Department of Education family. And the proof of that is, I did not touch, neither did I deduct anything from, your, from the provincial budget para sa Department of Education. And I am referring to the school board and special education fund. Wala gitna sang buhin. Although kung isa pala kung medyo nakikakuk, nakikakikakuk kay Mr. Raposin lang. Daw ginapanundong ko na I am going to alter the figure daw sa tugangan ko. <laughs> ano ako sinaya kong makik? If I start loving someone, hindi bala sa mga kabataan, kung ginakikan ka sa nanay mo, tatay mo, ikaw ang pala. Ang wala, hindi niya ginakikan, ginapanghabuhi-habuhi na lang sa ginitanan. Ganyan si Mr. Raposin, ginakikan ko na Sili ko nga man na subong sili. Nga man na subong sili. Kung ako ang lang tao ng itsura niya, at masakon, daw ang kinasili niya sa ako. Matuod din ang ako kinapanundong sa ito. Imagine during the time na may hara kita pa si Dungo, Our, your visitor then was Director Oitiko Ramir. Ay ginbasa ang iyang ratio ni. Siling ko ay nagsiling ako na I am so impressed by your ratio ni, Director. The details of your achievement are so chronicled in such a way that any listener will be impressed of the same. But, there is lacking one material information. Your resume as read did not state your marital status. Abang balan mo niyo? Si Mr. Raposin? Nagapudag-pudag? Pag nagsinig, pssst! Tandaan ko yung ina. Pero going to our teachers, I also remember what Director Oitiko said. Nabadamo kay Jamaalang Piri sa Kapis. 
the Capistons are the ones who excel in the whole Western Visayas. The only trouble is that our excellent teachers have not been recognized. They remained unsung. They remained unknown. They were never given the opportunity to demonstrate the glitters of their excellence. That's why when I was there speaking before our good teachers, nakita ko man na bisan sa sinautay gali kanami sa ato na maestro. Matungo din na ako. Ang mga nila na nagsiling ako, tell me if I'm lying. Nasiling ko kay Director Roy Tico, you are still single as you are impressed with the performance of our teachers tonight. I am not surprised that when you go out of this room, you will have, you should have, or you should have chosen the girl that you will stay with you during your lifetime. Tapos kita ko naman si Mr. Apusin, si Lina naman naman. Sir Ma'am, tandaan ko na, may imugit. May imugit. And Thea was right. Thea said that you are her friends and you are the best. And I hasten to add that you are not only our friends. You are not only our best. You are not also, you are not only our angels. As you stand as next to our father and mother. But I would say that you are the unsung heroes of our times. Why heroes? You will not be a hero unless, however, that you are a martyr. Look at the heroes of our history. They are all martyrs. They suffered so much in the hands of their detractors. They suffered so much in the hands of their persecutors. You will not be a hero without being martyr. Now I say that I overheard they are all dead. Yes, they are all dead because they are martyrs. But now in modern times, you know, we are product or you are product of a continuing evolution. While it is true that you could not be heroes of your time without being dead, but now, it has changed so much that we have martyrs who are living. Why do I say that? I have always been very critical of what our government has been doing to our teachers. During budget hearing, I know that enough budget is being given to the Department of Education. Pero ang problema, pagkatuon ka mo sa convention, pagkatuon ka mo sa seminar, sa Pagyo, sa Manila, o kung diin man nila, pero ka mo pang nagagastos. PPSDA, you should ventilate this sentiment. Amoy na ginasiling nila nga martir ang mga maestra at maestro kay kachutay gidlang sa mga sweldo and more considering the inflation. Ang inflation na ito is something around 9%. I think it's the highest 
ever seems. Pagkatuon ka mo si Luilo, pagkatuon ka mo sa Manila, ang inyo hotel ka mo mabayad, ka mo mabayad sa inyo transportation, ka mo mabayad sa inyo galastuhon, martyr ang kuha nyo. Ano na lang, martyr ka mo, kapati ang inyo pamilya, martyr. Amoy na nga mga maestro naton are also martyrs. Kay patuod na buhi ka mo, apang nalubong na ka mo. Nalubong ka mo sa uta. Hindi <laughs> ba? Our teachers have long been buried because of so much indebtedness. Look at our teachers. They are like vampires. <laughs> Maputla. Because their blood has been sucked. Blood that should have sustained their life. But this blood was sucked by the expenses coming from the programs of the Department of Education. That's why I, I always emphasize, I apologize for my language, na isang sa budget hearing, nag ipakaon sa mga maestra sa ina pamilya. And I said they're like vampires because only a few of them are sporting lipstick. Tanawag lang, iban wala lipstick, ikaw man, wala. Kami makita, kaya nakikita, maputla. Dahil walang pambili ng lipstick. Wala rin pambili ng make-up na sana ay haharap itong ating mga maestra sa kanilang mga estudyante, sa kanilang pupil na napakaganda ng kanilang itsura. Pero humaharap sila sa kanilang mga pupil na maputla walang lipstick, gutong pa. Kaya dito sa atin, ang edukasyon natin dito, ang kinugutong ay hindi lamang yung mga estudyante yung mahihirap. Kundi ang kinugutong ay pati na yung mga guro. And politicians always shout, especially during election, that the youth is the hope of our motherland. Wow, nahangit pati yan. But how can the youth be the hope of our motherland when they have forgotten the plight of our teachers who are responsible in training, responsible in raising, responsible in rearing our children. Before you go to the children, you have first to go to the mother. Yeah. <laughs> Gani diri sa provincial government, the chairman of our committee on education is board member Thea Faye. And I assure you, I have never mentioned this to anyone in inyo pagpanugin. Sa inyo lang ni, ha? That with your chairman of the committee on education, you are taking care in so far as the provincial budget is concerned. Ayaw niyo ni pagpanugil. Kaya kung mabatian, hindi ni Mitang. Bo, na si Mitang. Kalasan mo na sila ni Mitang. Kaling ginasiguro ko ka mo na kung ano ginman na disgrasya ang matawo, nakaslon sila ni Mitang, sigurado ko si Mitang Andres Bisaya.
Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to tomorrow. <laughs> Sa Don Banua. <laughs> the Arancinios are my relatives. You ask me who are these Arancinios, and I am going to enumerate them from head to toe. <laughs> you might not know your ascendants in Dumaga. You know Vicente, I don't see you. Oh my God. Wala ka kakilala kay Taiti. Si Tai Gaudin, ginala mo. Si Gaudin, Arancilio. Oh, he is the father of the Arancilio who did not support me. In any event, I wish and I pray that our teachers be always guided by our Creator. I hope you the best. And what I can only assure you is that you have a provincial government that is supportive of you. And we will never place you in vain. Madamo in the Salama. So what? My evil will. A firm salute to the man full of wisdom, intelligence, and with sense of humor. Our provincial governor in the province of Kapi.